So what happens in the brain when we are working with altered states or psychedelic experiences, specifically with substances like psilocybin or DMT or LSD? There is this rapid increase in neural connectivity. Psychedelics act very much like cartographers. They're mapping uncharted territories and new parts of the brain. And so it's about creating new pathways and bridges for different connections to be made with our thoughts and our behaviors. And so psychedelics dramatically increase this neural connectivity, which is also connected to neuroplasticity. It's this brain's ability to adapt and evolve over time. So there's a region in the brain called the default mode network, or the DMN, and that's considered the seat of the ego. It's responsible for introspection, self-referential thought, and psychedelics are shown to reduce activity in the default mode network. And this is really interesting because for somebody who has depression, for example, and they're known to have ruminative thought patterns and behaviors and these ideas, and they're just very much stuck in their minds, psychedelics help to reduce that so they're more open and adaptable and flexible in their thinking patterns.